Today I'm going to take you on an exclusive tour of a very special listing in the Ridges. But first I wanted to take you around to some of the areas that you may frequent as a resident living in Summerlin. Right now we're standing in front of Red Rock Station Casinos and downtown Summerlin. Right behind me is one of my favorite restaurants in downtown Summerlin, which is Harlow Steakhouse. Downtown Summerlin is a mixed use mall that offers many different things like dining, nightlife, fitness classes, and stores such as Lululemon, Dillard's, and Macy's. There's also a Nordstrom Rack and a Trader Joe's for all your specialty grocery shopping. Downtown Summerlin is conveniently located right next to the 215 off of the Sahara exit, which makes it very convenient for Ridges residents because the Ridges can be accessed off of three exits from the 215 Beltway, one of them being the Sahara exit, the other one being the Town Center exit, and also the Flamingo exit. So downtown Summerlin is super convenient to use for all of your shopping needs if you live in the Ridges or anywhere in Summerlin for that matter. Downtown Summerlin is about a seven minute drive from any resident within the Ridges and it's also adjacent to Las Vegas Ballpark which is home to our minor league baseball team. If you're one to look for any high-end sports entertainment, Las Vegas Ballpark definitely knows how to do it up. I've heard they have some amazing suites and you can even watch an entire baseball game from the comforts of your own cabana or from inside their very own swimming pool. Okay, so that's it for the downtown Summerlin area. Let's head over to one of my next favorite spots in Summerlin. So we finally came out to one of my favorite places to enjoy some peace and take in the beauty around the Las Vegas area. We're at Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area where lots of Summerlin residents like to come to do mountain biking, hiking, picnicking, and some just like to bike around the scenic trail or even drive around it sometimes. I used to bring my kids out here. They have a little kitty trail that the kids can walk on. It's about a 30 minute walk with a little bridge um, and a creek. It's super cute, but this is where everyone likes to come to enjoy the nature. Red Rock Canyon is about a 10 minute drive from the ridges, so it's super easily accessible and it's like you're not even in Vegas. I know a lot of you guys think that when you live in Vegas, we all live in casinos, but that is not true because we have so many beautiful things within just a very short drive from most of our homes. That. This way. What are you doing? <laughs> How crazy. That's my best friend. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See, just like I was saying, so many of us Summerlin residents like to come out here. That was just my best friend who pulled up while I was recording this video because she's out test driving a car. What a better place to test drive a car where you can kind of open it up on these roads and have an awesome backdrop for your scenery. Before we go, in case you're new to my channel, my name is Lisa Lopez and I was born and raised in the Las Vegas area. I'm a real estate consultant specializing in luxury real estate and I have a passion of helping families just like you achieve the American dream of home ownership. For more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified each time I drop a new video. All right, let's go on over to the ridges. Right now, we are standing in front of the gate that is adjacent to Desert Inn Parkway. Behind the guard gates of the ridges are 14 sub-gated communities that are made up of nine custom home communities and four luxury tract home communities. The HOA dues is $55 a month for Summerlin South, and then depending on which neighborhood you live in, the HOA dues can run anywhere from between four and $500. 
but I haven't seen it above $500 in all the years that I've lived in the Ridges community. I know Michelle is waiting for us, so let's head over to 15 Bright Hollow so I can show you this very special listing. Michelle, thanks so much for inviting me to your new listing. I love it in here, it's beautiful. Well, thank you for coming. This house is really special. So I'm excited to give you a tour of 15 Bright Hollow. We have about 10,000 square feet of luxury living space. Uh, the architect is Richard Luke, who's very famous in Las Vegas. He's yeah. been building homes forever. And this home has a lot of really unique features. I've heard. I can't yes. wait for you to show us around with all the special things in here. Yep, we have six uh, bedrooms. They're all en suite. Nice. And some of my favorite features, which we're gonna take a tour of, are not only the primary, which has unparalleled views of the preserve, but we have Little Italy, and if you like to cook, this kitchen is very special. And what do you say we take the elevator and start upstairs? That would be amazing. Let's All right, go. let's go do it. All right, you ready? Ready. Let's, let's go. go. I love this elevator because it's done so well. It's finished and... It's uh, gorgeous. It matches the rest of the house. It does. And this is all walnut, real walnut floors. Wow. All beautiful. right, bye guys. See you upstairs. Bye. Hello again. All right, so now I'm gonna take you down to the primary, which has the most incredible views. It's so private. Uh, it's BLM land, so these views will never be obstructed. So there's no way that they're gonna sell that off to Howard Hughes at all? I can't say never, because you never know what's gonna happen, but because it is BLM land, typically that land does not sell. Right. So this view has been here for years, and we don't anticipate anything happening with it. Wow. And as you can see, it's stunning. It is absolutely stunning, yes. Wow, so is that the summit off to the left there? That is correct. So that's the summit. And then this area is used for hiking and biking. And you'll see, you know, homeowners just walking the trail with their dogs. And there's actually a little gate that has an access point from the backyard that will take us out there. So if you want to go check wow. it out, we can do that. Yes, we should definitely do that later. Wow, that's amazing. So they have their private entrance to all of those hiking and biking trails. Yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Like just to wake up to this every day is so special. Yeah. And that's what makes this home, in my opinion, one of the nicest listings in the ridges right now. Yeah, yeah. When the wind comes down, we should go check it out. Yeah, let's do After it. After a little bit, yeah. So there is a secret room in the closet, which I'd love to show you. I heard the closet was pretty amazing in itself. It is, it is. Yes. It's, it's a cool space. There's a lot of room for shoes and handbags and. I mean, Michelle, this this is amazing. Imagine yeah. waking up to this every morning. Do they have window coverings or it's just so private they don't need window coverings in here? So we wanted to have as much exposure to this view as possible. So we took the window coverings down. You can always put, you know, some sort of electronic shade up. You could put drapes. I really wanted the buyer to be able to have a blank canvas so they could come yeah. in and pick and choose the fabrics that they wanted and whatever color and scheme that they wanted to go with for design in the in the primary. Right, because it is such a timeless design. All of the, the finishes in this house are so timeless. To me, I agree. they just never will go out. I mean, it's not your standard in style modern home right now, but right. this will never go out of style and there's so many ways you can make this go. Contemporary, modern, Asian feng shui, I and mean, there's just so many different design ways you can take this. It's yeah, really and pretty. we do have a lot of the feng shui elements with the fire, there's a fire pit outside, we'll go check that out. The water elements downstairs, um, the, the view with the preserve. Yeah. These are all walnut floors and, you know, features that don't necessarily catch your eye right away are like the smooth finish on the wall so we yes. don't have the orange peel. So this is a much higher level of a texture. The big baseboards, and again, these floors are all walnut. They're real wood. This home was built incredibly well. You'll see that all the windows are framed. These pocket yeah. doors all slide open. So right. it really gives you that indoor, outdoor, 
and you have this privacy with this uh, fire pit area. Mm -hmm. So if you just want to have a glass of wine, I mean, waking up to this view is absolutely Stunning. incredible. But 10 years ago, were they really doing air vents like the ones they have up here? That's pretty amazing that these are... I agree. This house is definitely ahead of its time and you can see the design in the ceiling and that's what makes this architect Richard Luke. He's been in business for so long and he continues to stay in business because his design is timeless. Yeah. So these are features that, again, you wouldn't normally uh, see as you're walking through, but it really helps elevate and this home is timeless and it's elegant and you know, with the onyx fireplace, just everything was the, the highest materials, the best materials were used when right. they built this home. For anyone who doesn't know who Richard Luke is, mm -hmm. Richard Luke is actually an award-winning um, architect yes, here in he town. Is. Builds amazing or designs amazing homes. Um, lots of them I've been seeing a lot in, in Askaya. Yeah. Um, just always, like you said, timeless, top of the line, does not miss a beat on anything. Just, I agree. Yeah. I agree. And this is the epitome of Richard Luke. It totally so, is. Let's go check out the secret room yeah. in the closet. Wow, Michelle, this closet is amazing. I cannot believe how beautiful this is. Yep, lots of room for your shoes. Definitely Carrie Bradshaw vibes. Yeah. And one of the most unique features in this closet is actually the secret panic room. So we have an exit that will take you out of the closet. And obviously it's secret because you don't know where it's at. Right, so. again, in a $6 million home, there are at times panic rooms such as this one. So in the event that you were broken into, which clearly doesn't happen in the ridges because it's guard gated and we're gated within the guard gate. When they built this home, they thought of every feature. It was their dream home when they put it together. And this uh, panic room will take you outside. Wow. Can I go in? Absolutely. Wow. So this staircase, Michelle, will take you all the way downstairs, exiting outside of the Correct. house. So yep, if you truly you. were under duress, yes, you have an out. Yeah, and if you look behind you, there's a landline. Oh yeah. So there's a telephone, a landline pad. Which are never in homes anymore. <laughs> that is true. So alarm pad, and what is this? Lights, probably? Crystal yes, that's lights. the cameras, so you can oh. see what's going on. Nice, true panic room, yes. very nice. And it even locks, huh? From yes, the it does. Nice. Well, that's a really nice feature to have in a home. I agree, you rarely see panic rooms. Rarely, yes. or I've seen them and they're not true panic rooms, they're just little closets and mm -hmm. they don't necessarily lock and have an exit to the outside, which right. is pretty amazing. Right. So let's go check out Little Italy. This yes. is the most unique and special feature of this house. I absolutely love it, and it's gonna feel like you're being transported to a completely different country. And I understanding it correctly, it's in the basement. So this is actually yes. a three-story home. Yes, it is, yeah. Fully finished basement. Yes, fully finished basement, and Little Italy is actually a fire escape, so you have to have some sort of an exit in the event that there's a fire or an emergency. Okay. And what these homeowners did to create this very special space is so unique and it's been featured in the Wall Street Journal, New York Post. The home has gone viral on Zillow Gone Wild and it's had millions of views. It was featured on Fox 5, The More Show, because this, yes, this feature is really, truly incredible. And like I said, if you love to drink wine, we have a 600 uh, bottle temperature controlled wine room with the cellar and Little Italy, so it's just a great little escape. And again, you will feel like you're actually sitting in an alley in Italy. Oh, great, I can't wait, let's go check it out. Okay, let's go see it. Wow, Michelle, I'm so excited. This is so pretty already and we haven't really seen anything. <laughs> so we are about to step into Little Italy. This space downstairs in the basement is about 1,800 square feet. So you don't typically see basements in the ridges because we have caliche and things that bring the cost up that, to you build. know, yeah, yes, definitely. That not every homeowner wants to spend the money, but um, we have a theater down here, a 600 bottle temperature controlled wine room, which is right behind us. And then we're gonna step outside and go check out Little Italy. Okay, where are we going first? We're gonna go see the wine room. Okay. It's got a lot of nice bottles in here too. I love this granite, it's very different. Oh, nice and chilly. Mm. 
So this holds 600 bottles, Michelle? Yes. Very nice. It's chilly in there. It is. <laughs> this is really pretty. Did they take, uh, these are like box crates. Yeah, these are the... these are wine box crates. That's exactly what the look that they were going for. Right. Um, the family loves Italy. They love drinking wine. I know I love drinking wine. And it's just such a nice space if you want to have a cigar and a glass of wine and have all your bottles right there. Did the owners build this when they initially built the property or did they finish it out? Was it like a work in progress once they moved in? No, everything was intentional and everything was planned out. When you see Little Italy, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. Um, there's a bar area and this, the homeowners really built this home to be functional. They wanted a home that was not only beautiful, but also livable and every space was usable. So right. everything was well thought out in advance. And at the time it was their dream home. This was gonna be their forever home. And you can feel it. It flows really well actually. Yeah, for I agree. How many square feet did you say again? We're almost 10,000 square feet. And it lives very comfortably. It, it does. It doesn't live like a mansion. I agree. Like you're screaming across the, the house to talk to the other person. It, it does have a nice flow. It, it looks like it was habitated by like a family where mm -hmm. there's all the bedrooms are kind of together upstairs. It's really nice the way they laid it out. It's cozy. I agree Very with cozy. You. You're right. All right, let's go check out my favorite feature. I can't wait, I'm so excited to see this. And to the left is the theater. Wow, so pretty. everything is operated through Crestron. So you can operate the lights, the music, anything that you want throughout the home on your iPad or your cell phone. And you can pick and choose different zones. So if you want music upstairs in the dining room and you want a movie in the theater, you can pick and choose with the Crestron system. So it was really built, this home was built for entertaining and they loved having parties. And you can see with the different spaces that they created, yeah. how it all flows and, and. So if they were down here and decide, okay, we want to watch a movie, through the Crestron system, they can turn the lights off, set the temperature upstairs, downstairs, everything. Yeah. yeah. And am I noticing there's some drapes that yes, come these through? are these are, are those all operated through Crestron as well? They are. They're all automated. Wow. So it really truly feels like you're in a theater. You can see the level of oh, you know yeah. custom customization that they did in this theater to really make you feel like you're in a real movie theater. Yes. And it, it helps with the acoustics as well, I can tell. When we're yes. talking that direction, it, it yeah. changes, right? There's speakers everywhere. Yeah, mm -hmm. nice, very nice. Okay, let's see Little Italy. I've okay, been waiting all day go. to see this. So step inside Little Italy. Wow. This is beautiful, Michelle. It is really a unique space. So, you know, with the fire escape, typically we'll see a very boring area with just drywall and paint. And the homeowners, the mother-in-law, was an interior designer. And so her inspiration was from a 1D Paris wall in San Francisco. And so what they decided to do was turn this into Little Italy. It transports you. Everything yeah. is very meaningful in the terms of, you know, the, the vino is Chez Andre, which is their son. And then the wow. Chocolato is Allison, which is their daughter. Oh, so, yeah, and you'll see like photos of the family upstairs looking through the window. I was wondering, yeah. <laughs> and it's just a very meaningful space for them and they wanted an area where they could come and relax and not feel like they're in Las Vegas. You right. even have a menu on the wall. It's just such a cute idea and I've been in a lot of luxury homes, Lisa. I've never seen this done, even in homes that are $20, 30000000 million. I've never seen this either. It's yeah. amazing. It's, yes. They really did do a good job. At yeah recreating it. It's really amazing. Yes. And I'm sure it was a lot more peaceful back when the construction wasn't going on. But Yeah, we have a, like two, two remaining homes that are being built next door uh, and that should be completed within the next couple of months. So I'll follow you. If you head up those stairs, Lisa, okay. that will take you upstairs to the backyard. Okay. So that's the safety protocol of the Little Italy. So we oh, need a way okay. to escape in, in, in the, if there's a fire or if there's a flood. So that staircase That's will take escape. us upstairs. Okay, all yeah. right, let's go. I love all this stone on the side as well. 
It really all flows together. The house and is And with the reclaimed stunning. wood. Yeah, it's so stunning. So pretty. So Michelle, I heard that this kitchen has some amazing things. Do you want to tell me what makes this kitchen so great? Yeah, and absolutely. Special? So the stove, this is a chef's dream. Uh, the brand is La Cornu. Nice. And these range anywhere from fifty dollars to $80,000. So anyone that's in the cooking world, loves to cook, will really appreciate the stove. It Definitely. truly is the Ferrari of stoves. It is. So I know all about this stove, but I have never actually seen one in person. Oh, really? This is amazing. Yes. Yeah, it is it is a work of art. You can see the craftsmanship. Absolutely. Uh, it looks just, like a piece of furniture. It does. It's really, so truly beautiful. So is it beautiful. one and a half ovens? Two yes. ovens? Two yeah. ovens. Two okay, ovens. Two yeah. ovens. Mm -hmm. Wow. You've got your hot water and... You know, again, the, the owners really built this home to be functional because they wanted, they cooked on a regular basis. They had family meals together. So, you know, lots of love and lots of amazing food have been cooked in this kitchen. It shows, it really yeah. does show in this house how much family and love has been in here, mm -hmm. definitely. I hope you guys enjoy touring this beautiful 10,000 square foot home in the Ridges. It's currently listed at six and a half million dollars. If you're interested in a private tour, be sure to reach out to me. All of my contact information is in the description below. Michelle, thank you so much for opening your listing up to me and taking me on a tour and showing me all the little secret private places in here. I really enjoyed it. And I'd like to give you this bottle of wine because Thursdays is what we do, tours and drinking wine. So <laughs> I here love you it. Go. Thank, thank you. you. Thank so you so much. I and really appreciate your time. My pleasure. And I hope you enjoyed the tour. And it really, truly is a special place. So thanks for coming. Yes, definitely. And the best part about being a luxury real estate agent isn't just all of the great property tours you get to go on. It's all about having a nice glass of wine with a really good friend afterwards. Lisa, here's to us as luxury real estate agents looking through real estate through rose-colored glasses. Salute.